Hey, what's up everybody? Hopefully the audio is good. Today's date is December 26th, 11.39 p.m. Almost going to be the 27th. So this is technically video number two of the, uh, the JWN project. Um, the first video was me making the commutator. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to go watch it. Um, I'm not finished yet. I'm recording this video as of not being completed. But uh, that's a beautiful looking piece. So you might want to go check out how I did this. This is the commutator for this project. Um, today, we're going to be taking some 4 inch diameter, 3 inch long magnets and putting them together on top of two aluminum pieces here that have a hole bored in them so that they're pretty square because we wanted to put, a, put it on that shaft right there. Um, so the magnets I have are in, in this box and the other magnets are, uh, are right there. Let me pick that up. Uh, let's see, one of, the, one of these... Oh yeah, there you go. So, yeah. Let's get started. All right, so first of all, where are we? We're in a uh, random place in the middle of Nevada. Set up shop temporarily for a few days here just so I could get this project done. We're dedicated. So, first things first, I'm gonna get this one really far away. And we're gonna open this one. Now I have opened this once, so I know what's in it. I know what it looks like. I'm not going to hurt myself too bad. If you want to know the part number, here they are. First, plate of steel. So this has some protection. So there's a couple plates here in this magnet. I'm going to try holding out this magnet. without moving all the rest of this since I already had this open but there are uh, aluminum I mean steel plates around this whole thing so there it is I'm going to get one razor blade so that way my old knife doesn't get stuck to something very carefully open this guy up I'm not going to get close to the camera. Let's just say, let's see how big that is against my head. That is a huge, ridiculously large magnet. Um, I would like to show you how strong it is. Here's a uh, small piece of metal. And uh, yeah, no problem there. pretty strong. So we're going to be putting two of these together today. Let's open the other one. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take a small magnet and I'm going to just make sure we got the faces marked. We want north to south, south to north. So I'm gonna just mark this magnet. Doesn't matter which way is which at the moment. Okay, so that's that's marked down. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna draw a circle on there. We're gonna go over to the other one and make sure okay it's the same way. So we're gonna be putting them together proper. This shall be fun. Here we go. We're going to put these two magnets together. I've got some ultra thick gloves here. Um, super insulated, really thick in case I get my fingers pinched. At least it won't be just my fingers, but I will not get my fingers pinched. I only got dark glasses for safety. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I don't have all the proper stuff that I really would like. I'd like to have some wood wedges. But what I do have is a bunch of scraps 
okay? And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this magnet and set it here, that magnet and set it here, and I'm going to slide them together. Okay, very carefully do that. And then I'm going to start wedging wood between here until I get all the way down to where I can attach it to that. So that's the plan of action. Uh, yes, I'm a little worried, but I still have confidence. I've put some pretty big ones together, but these are the biggest. Luckily, they're not all the way together. They're just going on that. Oh. Well, let's see. Yeah, okay. Well, that should be correct. Keep them down, that'll be all right. Here we go. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Now, we're going to slide them down until we get them on. Whew, that's the hardest part for me. That's scary. Alright, so we're just going to work them down this wood. Alright, very carefully. We're just going to keep walking them down with small and small pieces here. Not too shabby. Alright, we'll put this one in here next. Now we're getting powerful. I can feel it pulling now. I just do not want to break the wood. Alright, down to two. Easy. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. We're not gonna get the part easy. We gotta get it down, down to the bottom, and then we'll slide it off. I, just don't want I guess the wood could break now. It won't hurt anything. But I cannot believe how. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. Okay, I really want to slide them on from the top down so I can just push them on there. So as long as they don't slide off here. Put them on here. This is a little scary. Alright, here we go. You ready? Three, two, one. There it is. Easy money. That's what I want. Wow. So that's how you put two neodymiums together. Now, if I were to put these all the way together, what I would have done differently is I would have used some UHMW 
UHMW won't really fracture off, so you can slide it as a wedge, and I'd definitely be making a wedge. But uh, yeah, that's that. That is a monster. And then my uh, my commutator goes on here. At least spinning. Those are some big monsters. Now that we've got two of them together, let's have a little bit of fun real quick, shall we? All right. So what I have is I have a little disc magnet right here, and then I have a ginormous double magnet. Basically, it's six inches thick with a little space between, I guess, so it's a little bigger than that, about four inches in diameter, and I'm at 10 foot right now. And I just want to see if we can manipulate this magnet from over there. So let's try it. And if not, we'll get closer until we can. So this is, this is 10 foot. Okay, let's go to nine foot. Oh, my tape measure is metal, gotta be careful. Oh, it is affecting it. Alright. Let's go to 8 foot. <laughs> oh yeah. So from eight, from 8 foot away, anything within 8 foot is, uh, is in the danger zone. Let's go back to 9. Nine foot, still got movement. Let's go back to 10. 10 foot, still got movement. Not a full movement. Let's go to seven and see if we can get that guy to flip around. Oh yeah, no problem. There's about seven foot. So, yes, it's dangerous. Now I pushed it over. <laughs> All right, well that was fun. Now let's get to work. All right, well hopefully that was at least interesting. If not, it should have concerned you a little bit because it concerned me a lot. <laughs> now, if you've never put magnets together that are this big, I would never recommend just randomly trying it. I have uh, some experience with smaller magnets, still pretty big, two inch by two inch by one inch, and I stacked a bunch of those together. I stacked those together flat, not with something in between them. But uh, yeah, I don't know what this weighs, but well, be careful, I might jump out of my hands up there. Be careful with magnets, they are very powerful, very dangerous and uh, very useful. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. This is video number two of this series and we will continue. Uh, the next video will be, uh, well to be honest, I have no idea. Probably the brush assembly after we finish that commutator. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Read the Bible more and I'll try not to hurt myself. These are still scary even though I got the hard task done. You got a big wrench somewhere and you're trying to do something and you forget those bad boys are right next to you. Yeah. See you later.